right, so welcome back again. Uh, this time we're going to talk about something that's kind of unique to Swift, uh, and that's this idea of optionals. Optionals are, are really simple. It's that some variables have to have a value, um, and then some variables that are optionals, they either have a value or they're set to nil. Um, so it's actually not, not that hard a concept, but it, it somehow like presents itself in all these interesting ways. Uh, so we're going to start talking about optionals. So what I'd like for you to do is I'd like for you to actually open up um, the playground that we've given you. Uh, so go find the follow along uh, and find the one that says optionals uh, and go and open up optionals. Uh, when you open it up, it should look like this. There's a little comment in there that says, you know, we already know about variables and constants, but there's another choice that's always present, uh, and that's optionals. Uh, so if you wanted to, you could delete this, this top part. Actually, no, I'm going to use a variable in there later uh, and start talking about optionals. So what is an optional? So I'm going to make two variables, uh, one of which I'm going to make a, an optional float, uh, and then the other I'm going to make a required float. Uh, and you can see the syntax uh, on the two. The syntax is this question mark, right? So every object uh, could either be the object itself, so this object I picked float, uh, which is the same as a double, just with slightly less precision. Um, and then this one I picked a float optional. So this top one, it could be nil, or it could be set to a value, uh, but this bottom one has to be set to a value before your constructor finishes. Um, in this case, we're not using classes, we're not using a constructor. Um, so it just has to be set before you use it. So to kind of do an example, uh, I'll just print them both. So if I print out the optional float, uh, it, it hasn't had a value set to it yet. Uh, you know, it's just defined as an optional float. Uh, it'll actually print out just fine. It'll just say it's nil right now. That's no big deal. For optionals, that's, that's no big deal. Um, but if I try to print out the required float, uh, it's going to be a problem, right? Um, and so it's going to say, hey, it's used before it's been initialized. Um, and when you're writing a real app, this will present itself a little differently. It'll just be a compile time error. and say, hey, you can't use this thing. Uh, it hasn't been initialized. So on a playground, it behaves a little different, but I think you get the idea of an optional versus a required. Another thing we can do in a playground uh, is we can write just the name uh, and, you know, we can kind of see how it'll appear. And then if you were to set it to a value, you can actually see how that appears over on the side as well. And it actually presents itself differently on the side as well. So it says sum5. Uh, that's just the way it tells you that it's an optional. Uh, at present, this optional does have a value. And then this required, um, it just prints 5 because it has to have a value and it happens to be 5 right now. Next up, what I want to talk about is forced unwrapping. Uh, so forced unwrapping is when you have something that's an optional, but you know that it's got a value, so you put an exclamation point on it. And there's actually a lot of functions that return optionals. So one of them is to int. So to int, uh, and it'll kind of tell you this as you're typing it, right? Um, you can see that it returns an optional int. And that makes a lot of sense that it returns an optional int because this converts a string to an integer. Um, and if I tried to convert uh, Dave, so Dave is a string, which is not a number at all, um, you can see that it actually will return an optional, and that optional is in fact set to a value of nil. So let's look at a couple different cases. So what I want to do is I want to make another string uh, that actually will evaluate successfully. So I'm going to make the value 10, uh, and then I'm going to make a couple of variables. So I'm going to make a variable um, that is an optional. Uh, I'm going to call it, this one is an optional that's nil, um, and then this one is an optional which is not nil. So you can see that both are defined as optionals. So they've got int question mark, so it's an optional. It turns out that this first one does get set to nil. Uh, and this next one actually works fine. And it says sum 10, showing that it's an optional. Another thing you can do, I'm going to start with these commented out when I bring them in, uh, is you can make a variable which is not an optional. So this is not an optional. Um, and I'm going to assign it to, to Dave to int. This fails for a couple of reasons, so let's actually start with the bottom one. I'm going to uncomment it first. Um, so here I've got a required that's not nil, um, and I'm trying to say day 10.2int, and I'm trying to set it equal to an int. You can see that the compiler doesn't like that, uh, and the reason it doesn't like it is because 2int gives you an optional int, and then you're trying to assign it to a, a forced uh, required int, and that doesn't work. The compiler's really good about trying to help you out. So one way you could solve this problem is you could force unwrap it. Uh, force unwrap means that you add an exclamation point uh, to the end. So if I do this, um, so 2int gave me an optional, 
um, and I want to convert it. I know that it's going to work out well. Um, I want to convert it into a required int. I just add an exclamation point to the end. It's called forced unwrapping. You're going to do this all the time when you do development. Um, so if we did the same thing on the line above, we do forced unwrapping here. Uh, this is going to be a disaster, right? Um, so the reason it's a disaster is because this is going to return nil, um, and then I'm going to force unwrap nil. So the warning that I give you here is using exclamation point, you're going to do it all the time, but it is responsibility of the developer to make sure it's going to succeed, right? Um, if it doesn't succeed, it's worse. It throws a runtime error. So if I uncomment this, uh, <laughs> Playgrounds is going to get very upset with me, right? So execution was, was interrupted um, because it didn't compile at all. And there's no way to do this line. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to comment it out. Uh, just so I can kind of kind of move on. So there's still a little bit more we're going to talk about with optionals, uh, but I'm going to cut this video off here because I think this shows the, the basics very well, right? Of There's optionals, which can be nil or a value, and then there's just the plain old required, which has to have a value, and you've got to be careful about knowing that they're different. To be honest, I'm not thrilled about this feature just because it adds a lot of complexity to programming, uh, but I'm sure it'll save me from making a mistake someday. All right, so that's it for the basics. Uh, come back next time, and we'll do a little bit more with optionals. See you then.